Outrage at a local high school. Officials are under fire for their response to death threats against students. Authorities say the threats on social media targeted students at Westchester East High School. Eyewitness News reporter Alicia Nieves tells us police know who posted the threats. Death threats at this Chester County High School made in the form of someone posting these photos to a now deleted Instagram account. The photos first noticed on Sunday are of students who will quote die. Each post was punctuated with racial slurs towards the students being threatened. Stacy Pollard's 11th grade son was one of the East High School students targeted. When I found out at first about it, I woke him up at one o'clock. He was sleeping. She learned her son had seen the post about him, was scared, but didn't tell her. He talked to the, the administrators in the building and felt like they didn't take it seriously. They didn't consider his feelings. Pollard is among several parents upset now, not only with the threats, but with how the school may have handled the incident. It was just basically being brushed under the rug as, oh, it's a hoax, it's 9-11, we deal with that. This is um, a history and a habit of Westchester Area School District, and it has to change. We take all, all threats seriously. I mean, safety is our number one priority. Um, we, look at, we look at some of these things, particularly social media, and, and try to purge is it, is it a credible threat or not. The district superintendent says the posts were quickly determined to be more of a hoax than a threat by police. Within hours, authorities had determined who made the threats and made an arrest. There was a lot of concern about the, the hate crime aspect of this. Mm -hmm. uh, the juvenile will be an African American, is an African American 14 year old juvenile. So. The 14 year old, a freshman at the school, is being charged criminally with making terroristic threats, harassment, and cyber harassment. Any racial slurs, regardless of the color of your skin, are not going to be tolerated in our school system. On top of some serious charges, the student who made these threats online is facing suspension right now, possibly expulsion. The district also says it's going to meet with its students to talk about the importance of racial sensitivity. In West Goshen, Alicia Nieves, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.